how are you? I sense a lot of haters. I'm kidding. <laughs> no. I was just discussing with my sibling. <laughs> my sibling is always just a hater of me, you know? Like, my siblings are always just like that. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sun when rising in the <laughs> Because my siblings also practice the same thing as I do. They're just haters. <laughs> kidding. No, they're watching, that's why. We're laughing at each other. Here we go. So you can see your end. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, let's see. This is your November 3 and 4. Don't look for 1 and 2. We ain't making that one. Okay. I hate catch up. Okay. So I'll just move forward with life. Okay. Um, when I start talking about astrology, it's going to be basing on the sun, on the rising and the moon because we do by the houses, okay? So I can do all the houses with all the planets in one, in five minutes, okay? <laughs> but do follow the other channel because you never know what I'm going to be discussing at Cosmectology, which is the link down there. It's going to be fun, okay? Here we go. Because um, this, this is where the tarot is, the other side. We'll have fun. Alrighty? Here we go. Cancerians, three and four. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. The world card, a completion, a cycle. Feeling gifted, I feel. Are you getting a gift or you're gifted? You feel that, you know, like, you know how people, they do, you know, stop and smell the roses? I think you own the flower shop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You don't just stop, you make a business out of it because you're happy. This is when finding out that you're calling and doing good at it. You know when you find, oh, I hope I'm there. No, I'm there, I know I'm there. <laughs> you know when you find your calling and then you're happy doing it, you know, and this is it. Knowing where your calling is, it's Saturn, you know, so um, it's, it's karma that is bringing you towards where you, your life is, you know, it's a good direction, okay? It's almost like Zayn and Gigi, you know. Good direction. <laughs> there you go. Another person. Queen of Swords, Libra energy. You probably cut off a Libra or a Libra cut off cut you off. But this is cutting ties with the past. I'm all about moving forward, Sal, and I'm I'm smarter now. I ain't uh, I ain't that old person anymore. I change. I've grown. I'm smarter. It's a lot of I, meaning a lot of, probably you have a lot of planet in your first house, because I hear a lot of I. Uh -huh. Transfer, if you have a lot of planets there, you always use the word I. That's what they're saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Connecting for someone from a distance, who can be Libra and energy wise. Venus goes direct on the 17th. Okay. Um, I feel like this person is trying to work it out with you. Let me see. You're in a good spot, considering. Seven of Pentacles, they're just waiting for you to come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. That's not a good movie, though, <laughs> okay? <laughs> With the wild card of Seven of Pentacles. Uh, I feel that, um, you know, this can be a Sag also. Very driven um, energy that is coming towards you. If you are, you're driven to make it a success in the world. It's almost like the world is your oyster. It's not just your flower shop. You're a, it's your oyster. What are you doing, Katsirian? You're on top of your world. On top of the world, looking down on creation. Na, 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 It's the love that I found ever since you've been around. I hope I don't butcher the song for you guys. More singing in the other channel. Let's do that. Okay. More love is a call. <laughs> Dear Lord, dear Lord, dear Lord, on top of the world, looking down on creation. What do you want me to do? You found love. You're in love. I'm just vibing with you. My vibe right now, ugh, in the office, ugh. This is you. Okay. <laughs> Happy to be with a Cancerian too. Mm -hmm. I'm with one too. I'm with all the zodiacs. <laughs> Queen of Swords with the Ace of Cups. They love you. It's Venus over here. Libra. Someone's head over heels with you and they're just waiting for you. They're watching you though. Mm, interesting. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because the card is going to be scary. You have the devil card. But two Saturn cards. Okay. Meaning it's the planet. That's how I look at it. Uh -huh. So meaning it's, it's not even the world card. It's more of a Saturn. Saturn in the seventh. How it works. Saturn in the seventh. 
you will have chance are your long-term person relationship wise it takes you long to get into a relationship but when you're there dear lord 30 years and you're still there even though you don't want it okay so you can be married with someone who's wrapping up okay or the other person is because strong strong saturn is seventh but this is also you have tendency to fear relationship okay that's that energy for you it's always like it's a struggle to learn a relationship but this is saturn and sag also so someone can be a sag uh sag seventh i'm not sure what would be their rising if there's gemini rising you can be connecting with a gemini rising we just air here the magician okay let's see the devil with a magician if you want to associate yourself with toxic uh, person like oh sell that's toxic isn't it that's a liar betrayal manipulative this is that kind of, this is that combination but i don't see it i don't feel it because the magician with the queen of swords you can't play with the queen of swords because they're smart and uh you know if you align yourself with the magician as a trickster um you know so you learn this person learns not to lie so it's a very true person and remember the magician has to use one of the tools which is this person uses love so someone here has a pure intention towards you vice versa for a cross watcher now here with the magician and the devil card this is also a strong 10th house okay meaning career someone is career driven world famous because capricorn 10th magician i create business for the world online shopping merchandise uh, this is this combination come back you're connecting with someone who loves you okay there <laughs> well that's easy for you to say so because i don't feel it trust me it's there <laughs> let me see what's dividing the two of you this is the divide part Ace of Pentacles, it ain't gonna be divided soon because it's gonna be grounded, that's what they say. Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. If it's a song, perfect combination. -na 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 -na. A perfect combination. This is a perfect combination. I'm not talking about the elements, I'm talking about how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Fine, you want to do water and earth, it's a perfect, you know, it's, like it's grounded, right? It's solidified, gross. I just feel it. It's a perfect combination. That's it. What's dividing the two of you right now is what's going to keep you guys together. Mud. Stuck in the mud. This is earth and water. It's mud. <laughs> sticky. And um, devil card, control, Saturn, sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Restriction, 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 right? Control, control, control. What's connecting the two of you right now and what's dividing the two of you is control, control. Someone is just like having the last minute urge to control themselves before they open up to you. I say amen, sister. That's what I say. Alrighty. I'm going to continue this reading. And if you guys like my vibe, you better go to the other channel because we got a vibe there in a different way. I'll see you again. Maybe smoke something there too. I'm kidding. I do sage. <laughs> Bye, guys.